Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and I'm glad that you guys decided to tune in. In my case, I would say this afternoon, but it could be morning or evening where you are. Uh, if any of you are interested in learning some grocery uh, saving strategies, stay right where you're at, and we'll discuss that momentarily. So today's topic is grocery store, you might as well say, saving strategies. And alongside, without further ado, as you know, Jan, Jan from New York City saves money, wanted to come aboard because she herself has some grocery store saving strategies that she wanted to go ahead and share with all of you as well. So Jan, uh, again. Hi, Steve. Hi, everybody. How's everybody Hi, doing? Good. You doing well? Oh, that's yeah. good. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. So you said you had some, you know, some grocery store strategies. I'm going to go ahead and, you know. I do. I do. Oh, thank you for uh, turning the microphone on I, to me. I really appreciate it. You know, every once in a while, it, it just, comes as a wave into me to get this message across. Now, perhaps some people might have heard some of this stuff before, but I always feel there may be a person or two who has not heard of this strategy. And one of my favorite absolutely strategies when it comes to grocery store shopping and savings is first of all, to reduce the trips that you get there. Now that seems so simple and so logical, but there is an absolute method to my madness. For example, let's take the month of, let's just call the month of January. There are 31 days in January. Okay. Now, we know many people shop for groceries, Steve, every single week, every seven-day period. But if you time it right and try to do this, try this at least one month. Give it a whirl. Do not go grocery shopping for at least 10 days. Mm. Because if you go every seven days, you're gonna to go to the grocery store four times that month. This way, you could go to the grocery store three times. And guess what? You're saving money, you're saving gas, you're saving effort, and you are saving energy. You know what it is, Steve? To avoid food waste. Many times people overshop especially if you go every single week, stuff starts accumulating that doesn't get eaten. And you just keep going back to the store out of habit, out of habit, out of habit. And again, then guess what happens? Food waste. I don't know about you, but I'm on this big mission regarding, you know, for people getting help with their food and all that. So for me to see food waste is like, it's like an abomination to me. I just, I just can't stand it. So by considering, just considering the thought, take out your calendar, work that calendar with your pay periods as well. Don't go grocery shopping if you're like down to nothing. Go at a time that you can pay for things without using the plastic, using your cash, just saying, just saying, and work in conjunction with that. Does that seem sensible to you, Steve, that one strategy alone? Yes, it does. I mean, with with the way things are now, I mean, you know, the price of gas in the last um, few months has really gone up. Gas in my area is bordering $3 a gallon, whereas a year ago, it was what, $2.20, $2.15, you know, so... I That's get a that. really good point. Very good point. That. If, now, another way you can also... Um, 
I like I like your idea a lot. Go three times in a month instead of four. That and of course, look over what you have in your house before or your home before you run out and get it. And maybe you can work with what you have there, you know, to stretch it out. Um, people don't realize this right here. It's sort of a topic within itself, but you do have the ability also, those of you that are um, Amazon Prime members, this saves you even more money. You can always order it, and within a day or two, it's delivered to your front door. Absolutely. So that's one way of getting, uh, you know, some groceries. I, I do know that, so I've heard, I've never actually done it, but under the um, Amazon Fresh section, like your colder, your milk, your eggs, uh, cheeses and things like that. I believe you can get it delivered that same day if you request it. I, I don't know. I've never done it. I think that uh, from what I recall, I think that if you spend at least $50 and most people spend about 50 to 60 or something range, I actually had that number indicated somewhere on another show, but it's about that ballpark range. So if you have in fact spent about uh, $50 and over in groceries, then they'll send it uh, the same day. Great point, Steve, because you're not even using your car. No, you're, you're there. Um, okay, so you have to wait another another day or two before you get it. Right. Not a, not a big deal. Um, right. Uh, I will go ahead and say this. I myself am an Amazon Prime member. I have also gone to their website and put in an order. You know, I've done dry stuff. I haven't done, you know, non-refrigerated. I haven't done the refrigerated or the, or the fresh side yet. But And um, one time I put the order in early enough in the morning that it came later that late afternoon and I got it. Wow. Wow. That's, that's really good. Um, but that, but that's not absolutely, you know, necessary that you do that. If you get it the next day or the following, that's perfectly fine too. I mean, Excellent. I just want to mention and insert this. It doesn't have to be every 10 days. It could be every 14 days, reducing your trip to trips rather to twice a month. If you go to the actual grocery store. So mm -hmm. it's a matter of math and it's a matter of planning, which you could do very easily from the comfort of home. Going to the supermarket or the grocery store while you're in there is not the best place to do your strategy. You're not focused. You're going to hear screaming kids. You're going to see tired people. You're going to see long lines perhaps, or you yourself are just tired. Plan everything as much as you can before you leave the house, which brings me, Steve, to the next one. I cannot tell you how important it is to check your inventory and avoid duplicate shopping. Why should you tie up your money buying something you already have too much of when you can either A, save that money and not spend it, or put that money to something else you actually really need? So, Steve, it is so important to check your inventory. Yeah. yeah. The next thing, Steve, I do have a couple of other tips, if that's okay. okay. All, All right. right. Oh, thank you. Um, it, is, it is summer right now at the time of this recording. I am not a huge advocate of filling your freezer to the brim in case of a power outage. Okay. So... Make sure you have some canned goods to alternate mm -hmm. just in case. Like in a winter time, fine. Your chances of losing power are probably much more uh, reduced as opposed to the summer. I know in the New York area, our chances are always increased. That's just something that just, just actually hit me. Okay. But in my show notes for today, here's another important point, Steve. Keep breakfast and lunch very simple. Steve, mm. do you have complicated breakfast or... Do you find in your own life that you keep it as a, min as a minimal thing? No, I breakfast, um, again, 
is pretty, pretty simple. Um, you know, I like to do like grab and go breakfast. That's part of it. I'll explain what that is for those that don't know. If you have, um, let's just say a box of honey buns or a box of Intamin's, uh, you know, pastries or something, and they're individually wrapped, you open the box, you got your coffee, you go over and grab one, you open it, you eat it, you got your pastry or whatever, and you got your coffee. Right. That's, that's one definition of grab and, grab and go. I also like to, I do like hard boiled eggs. I've done that. Awesome. Um, I've also done, this right here is a good power saver too. Instead of cooking an egg on a stove, which that's okay too, you can do it in the microwave. And within, sure. and within in less than two minutes, aside from beating up your egg and putting whatever spices you want, you know, uh, less than two minutes, you'll have a cooked egg. And by the way, one of the best investments you can get in your grocery store is actually a dozen or more eggs. eggs. No matter, even at the highest price, no matter what the highest price your eggs are, individually, you are getting so much protein in there. It is keto friendly. It is low carb friendly. You can boil them up and you have them. And eggs, egg breakfast can be had at any time. For example, I even indicated this here. To uh, keep breakfast and lunch very simple, the example, an egg and a piece of fruit, for example, for breakfast is very simple and easy to do. Lunch, you could have tuna salad on toast with lettuce and tomato, or you can buy a bag of tater tots. Steve, do you like tater tots? Of course. Who? Okay, I do. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Tater tots yeah. are very convenient. You can make them any time. That is one of those... That's what I love about this. This tater tots are very, very versatile. You can have them for breakfast, for lunch, or dinner. These meals do not have to be complicated. So have your tater tots and scramble an egg and have some toast. That meal could be had any time. You're getting everything you need. They can. Mm -hmm. So these are just some grocery store strategies that I wanted to share because you know here we are. Before you know it, and I mean time goes by. Before you know it, you'll be in the middle of the month. And that's when some people's, you know, situations start to wane. Stock up on canned goods. Utilize what you have. Very important strategies. But know your inventory. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And work with it. Yeah. Now, Steve, you mentioned something about shopping around the sales with your circular. Uh, yes, I did. Um, a lot of the time... What I do or like to do, I, I know I know that it can simplify my grocery list. Again, every one of the grocery stores that I like to um, shop at, of course, you know, every grocery store puts out their weekly by circular. Um, if a person would consider shopping around that circular, buy things that are in the weekly ad that can also simplify and make things easier as far as shopping goes. Um, right. Cause you could have local sales going on. I mean, I mean, national sales are one thing, but local sales manager special. Don't be afraid. Like my daughter, I'll bring her up for a second. My daughter was petrified to buy meat from manager special. I'm like, why? I said, here are your choices. When you get to the meat counter, you look at the manager special. They need to get, get it out of their case. That doesn't mean you can't eat it. Right. But strong suggestion, you bring it home, you cook it that night, and if you don't want it that night, you put it in the freezer. That's the better thing to do. And I know what manager special is in that respect. So it, you're better off cooking it and then put it in the refrigerator if you didn't want to have it. It will keep better than if you buy it, put it in the fridge for about three or four days and then take it out. No, Absolutely. I've, been, I've been down that road before, so I, I do know. Um, Absolutely. There are ways to get around grocery stores and, and shopping savings. And you know what, Steve, I know that you and I have a great audience that I'm certain 
would love to comment in the comment section below their money saving strategies at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, the only other thing, I mean, you're what you, you know, the, the, the tips and the suggestions that you threw out are, are you know, were, were great. But the only other thing, you know, that I myself, uh, you know, to contribute my side, you know, and along yes. with yours is um, not only the weekly ad circular, uh, why do you necessarily have to go to a so-called brand name grocery store? Why do you have to go to a store like Publix or Win Dixie, like you have down here, or a store that used to be here, Food Lion or Wegmans? Or but you get the idea. Uh, yeah. Why can't you go to like a discount grocery store, Aldi? Down here, I have something across the board equivalent to Aldi called Save a Lot. Example, right. you go in and you buy a box of Frosted Flakes. I'll use that for an example. Why, sure. should, why should you pay $3.49 for a box of Frosted Flakes when you can get two of their brand for $1.59 and still have a little money left over? And you're bringing up a good point. There are a lot of people who are kind of like brand name snobs. And this is not the time. Anybody that says that the food prices are not rising, either they're not watching the news or they just like to choose to believe they're always right. I admit I make a lot of mistakes, but I do watch the news. And I don't think the news would come on and lie to the public no. about something like that because it's coming from the companies that are producing they are complaining about inflated prices. And I watch a very good quality news station, put it that way. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's too much. And plus things that I have noticed personally where I live and other people have come to my attention that they can't believe some of the price changes and increases. This is the time more than ever not to take your foot off the gas pedal and to try your best to save by reducing your trips to the grocery store and utilizing everything you have. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, again, you know, between, you know, what I just mentioned and, you know, your tips, you know, th those, those all, all, all of, you know, what we both just said definitely comes into play. Um, I mean, I myself, you know, I like to go to the discount, uh, grocery store, you know, because you can still get, you can still get the same, you know, quality product. You can still get your frozen meats, your chicken, you know, your pork, whatever you. It's all there, but the thing of it is, okay, so you're not necessarily buying a brand name item. You're buying an off brand. A lot of not all the time, but I would say a good eighty five percent of the time. The off brand and the brand name are pretty similar. Keep an open mind because if that open mind gets you through helping to feed your hungry kids and family, that is what matters most to me. Yes. I, I'm not going to be a, a snob about it. You just can't do that. No, you can't. No, no. Well, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and bring this to a close. But again, uh, I'm glad you wanted to come on and discuss. Yeah, I'm your, concerned about the folks, uh, Steve, because I mean, I just hear too many weird reports. Yeah, yeah, I have too. Um, I'm not watching the news quite to the same extent as you are. So you're probably a little bit more in the know of it. In, yeah. In of it than I am. Living in New York, I really have to keep an eye out yeah, on it. Yeah, especially <laughs> up there, especially. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, you know, this is a little bit spur of the moment uh, video that, you know, I just happened to think up. And when I mentioned it to you, you know, yeah, I just felt since you were thinking of a video to do, I just like really it was just something that came over me and said, talk to the folks now about these strategies and yeah. 
we just can't be brand snobs and just do what we can and stop spending. Yeah. All right. Um, if you like what you see when it comes to my channel, definitely, and you're and you're just passing by, you know, please consider looking at my other content. It is random before you decide to subscribe. I hope you do. Veteran subscribers, thank you for staying with me. If you're new, hello. I much appreciate it. Um, as always, you know, if you're not familiar, check out Jan from New York City Saves Money channel. Uh, again, she has a lot to do with uh, grocery stores and budgeting and frugality. Thank you so much, Steve. Thanks, Thank everybody. Yeah, so definitely, you know, do that. And I or we, you just don't know, we'll see you next time. I really appreciate it. Bye for now. Bye-bye.